Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I'm trying out the Acer Swift H16, a thin form factor laptop with tons of power to boot. So let's check it out in this video. This is the Acer Swift H16, a thin and light laptop equipped with the AMD Ryzen 7 7840U CPU and the AMD Radeon 780M GPU. The laptop also has AMD's AI features, which we'll take a look at in a bit. As I said earlier, in the CPU department, we have the 7840U, which is from the 7040 processor family and consists of 25.4 billion transistors packed within. The CPU has a boost frequency of 5.1 GHz and a base frequency of 3.3 GHz. It has 8 cores and 16 threads and it is the world's first CPU with a dedicated AI engine, which is based on AMD's XGNA architecture. The CPU uses AMD's Zen 4 architecture with a 4 nanometer manufacturing process. The integrated GPU is the Radeon 780M, which uses the RDNA 3 architecture with up to 12 compute units, delivers enough performance to play PC games in Full HD. And the GPU also supports Radeon Super Resolution and Radeon Chill, which allows games to run on the battery with surprisingly long battery life. The power requirements or CTDP is as low as 15 to 30 watts, which provides the flexibility to work, game and also create on the go. And this laptop is really energy efficient. The laptop displays this gorgeous Cinecrystal 16 inch 3200 by 2000 WQXGA plus OLED panel. Max brightness is 400 nits, which is decent for the indoors. Refresh rate is 120 hertz. And RAM, we have 16 GB and storage, we have 512 GB. Connectivity, we have Wi-Fi 6E and OS is Windows 11 Home. Acer uses a thin aluminum alloy for the Swift Edge 16's enclosure. It feels so light, it's easy to carry around in one hand. The keyboard deck does flex, but not much. And the keys are of decent depth. A bit less travel, but considering the size of the laptop, this is expected. The power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner for easy secure logins without needing to key in a password. The webcam is 1440p and it produces crisp, well-balanced images, which is much better than the older 720p models and also does not have the greeniness of some 1080p cameras. The 16-inch display has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which provides more real estate for juggling multiple windows. And the OLED screen is great for movie watching with its true blacks. 3.2K resolution is sharper than most laptops and text and images look crisp. And 120Hz refresh rate makes the laptop feel smooth when moving windows around, opening apps and also gaming. The display has excellent coverage with 100% of both sRGB and DCI-P3 and 98% of Adobe RGB. Speakers are stereo and are fine. And ports wise, we have a pair of USB-C ports on the left side along with an HDMI port and a USB-A port. On the right, we have another USB-A port, an audio jack and a micro SD card slot. And this USB-C port with the power marking is used to charge the laptop using the 65 watt USB-C charger provided. Checking out the AI features on the laptop, let's try out uh, Microsoft Studio FX. These features are directly built into Windows 11 and are only available on CPUs that feature the AI engine. And features available are eye contact. So this is so cool. This is how it looks when the feature is off, but turn the feature on and my eyes look at the camera even if I'm looking down. Automatic framing. This is another cool feature where the camera keeps you in the center of the frame. It does zoom in to have some wiggle space, but I could be moving a bit to the left or the right or up or down and I'm in the center of the frame. This is also helpful if you walk around while on a call. I do have this habit. Background effects, we have the background blur. If you have a lot of stuff behind you or just want to maintain your privacy, we can enable background blur. And we have two types, standard blur, which blurs out the background objects and keeps you in focus, and portrait blur, which applies a light blur, which helps you pop out, keeping you in focus. The NPU or neural processing unit with its unique spatial architecture can run multiple AI workloads simultaneously, such as the video effects that I'm just showcasing. And it can also run a chatbot on the side, also an image categorizer, everything together. This ensures that there's no slowdown and everything runs smoothly. The NPU helps speed up AI workloads, which is similar to how the GPU speeds up graphic workloads. A dedicated AI engine also allows you to run your workloads locally and not on the cloud, which keeps your information private and secure. Now for the CPU and integrated GPU tests. 
Cine Bench, one of my de facto tests to test the CPU performance. In single threaded performance, we get 1736 points. And for multi threaded, we get 12,616 points. Geekbench, another favorite. Single core score is 1920 and multi core score is 9622. PC Mark from the makers of 3D Mark. Productivity tests get a score of 10,837. Gaming tests, we get 5,681. Digital content creation, we get 8,321. Photo editing is at 12,619. And video editing, we get a score of 5,604. Blender 3.5.0, BMW scene, time to complete the render, it took 200 seconds. Classroom scene, time to complete is 442 seconds. 3D Mark Time Spy, we get 2939, which is good for an integrated GPU. CPU score is 8175, and the GPU score is 2641. Let's run a few games. All the tests were run at Full HD 1920 by 1080, low detail, balance power mode, and CSGO, we get a frame rate of 176 FPS. Metro Exodus, we get a frame rate of 74 FPS. F1 2021, we get a frame rate of 71. League of Legends, we get 262 FPS. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we get 38 FPS. Not bad for a thin and light, and running these games still enables great battery life thanks to the integrated 780M GPU. Features like RSR, FSR, and Radeon Chill also help extend the battery life. The battery within the Acer Swift Edge 16 is a 54 watt hour battery, and it averages out around 10 hours of video playback. Gaming does hit the battery a bit, but we can still expect around two to three hours the Switch Edge 16 is a great choice for anyone looking for a laptop, especially for who regularly travel. It's thin and light, and the battery life allows it to run for 7 to 10 hours for uh, document office work, for video streaming. Gaming is not recommended, but the laptop can game a little, but is recommended to be plugged in when doing so. Equipped with the Ryzen 7 7840U and RDNA 3 graphics, the Acer Swift Edge 16 sets a new bar for ultra-thin mobile performance. And with the AMD Ryzen AI built-in, it enables a plethora of features for work and also play. If you travel a lot, the Swift Edge 16 is a worthy choice. Did you like the AMD Ryzen AI features and would you pick up a 7040 series laptop for the same? Make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.